Hey YouTube, what's up? Before I get started, I want to first ask why or what do you want to learn from this video? Now, I want to welcome you to the start of my Modern Warfare Beginner's Guide series. This video goes back to the basics, getting set up. This video will help all new and beginner players by teaching and showing you how to get set up for playing Modern Warfare. And if you haven't yet, first make sure you subscribe, like this video and then we'll get straight into it. Hey everyone, I'm CJ Gamer and welcome to our Modern Warfare Beginner's Guide video. This one is going to be shorter than the rest of the series because it's a smaller topic but it's still very important. Now I want to give a shout out to my squad, Deeplex97, Monster Killer and JC Bad Gaming. These guys are amazing. Be sure to check their channels out in the description. Before I get into it, I'll say that getting set up is about everything you do outside the game. These are all things that help me play good at Modern Warfare. I'll break this down into 7 parts. First and foremost, everyone needs to understand that this is an FPS or first person shooter game. What that means is that it's going to be fast paced, it's through the eyes experience, you shoot things, you collect pickups, you use ammo and other things etc. Since Call of Duty is an FPS or first person shooter game, it requires a lot of concentration and awareness because you have many things to pay attention to from your HUD or heads up display, aiming through the gun sight, looking over obstacles, turning around the 3D movement to see what you can't already, and watching where your bullets go as you shoot. I'll get more into that throughout the series, but for now, this should give you an idea on what to expect or think about when getting set up. The second part, and more so the first real tip, is to make sure that you use a headset, headphones, or earphones. Now, in today's world of gaming, it goes beyond the times of playing Nintendo 64 with sound coming through your TV. Nowadays, it's vital and crucial to have complete awareness, and I mean awareness visually, verbally, mentally, and physically. Let's call it user experience on a good and bad scale, good being more aware and bad being less aware. If you don't use any type of headset, then you'll hear less or just not hear it as fast, which gives less user experience, therefore making you less aware. And being less aware in a Call of Duty game is bad, compared to having any type of headset giving the game sound a lot faster into your ears than any type of speaker, which creates more of a user experience, making you more aware, and being more aware is good. Because it's all about timing. Timing to hear things like talking or shouting, footsteps, guns moving, reloading, using equipment, and gunshots. To sum that up, Using a type of headset gives you the upper hand over others that don't. The third part is to sit on a comfy chair and sit close enough to the TV, but not too close. This may sound very odd to you, but you might be surprised here because there's a lot of people who don't do this, which makes them struggle with any game or you may be doing it yourself. Now imagine trying this, get something to read or watch, put it up on a bench or table, go back from it so it's hard to see, now sit on the ground, lift your chin up, and feel the stretch in your neck, the squint in your eyes, and the pain in your back as you sit in this awkward, uncomfortable position. That's why you need two things, a comfy chair and a close enough distance to your TV. Now, I'm not going to try and link you to the coolest looking gaming chair on Amazon, but even a dining chair packed with some pillows would be good. It's a plus if it even comes with some armrest. And TV distance is important. Being too far away makes it too hard to see anything, which makes you less aware and potentially bored. The same goes for the opposite of being too close. Have you ever opened up an image on your phone or PC and zoomed into the point where it's just pixels? Well that's what it looks like to be too close. Plus if you do this for too long you may end up with sore eyes or a headache. In summary, use a chair with cushioning and sit a good distance from the TV. The fourth part is lighting. Now this means a few things such as the brightness of your TV, the settings in your game, natural light and internal light from your house. All this can and will change the experience of your gameplay. The TV's brightness is important with every game you play because too bright and it's hard to look at the screen and too dark makes it too hard to see anything. So unless you can find the sweet spot for the TV settings, then an automatic mode might be best for you. Next is the settings in the actual game. Modern Warfare and just about every Call of Duty game gives you a recommendation when it comes to the brightness levels. It's not always a smart choice to follow this guide, it may be best to adjust it to a good point where it's not too dark or bright, though it might take a bit of trial and error. I'll go more in depth in my video on best settings. Next is natural light. Now this one is important but small because of two words, TV glare. TV glare is both annoying and distracting. It can also cause discomfort in your eyes. TV glare makes it hard to play because you're desperately trying to see through the light or going around and shooting. A simple practice is to make sure there's no windows behind you with sunlight going directly into your TV. Otherwise, close any blinds or curtains. Now, internal light is also important and very similar to natural light. Some people might have different opinions, but I find it hard to play in the dark. So I always have one type of light on. It's the placement of the TV and the type of lights that matter. With lights on the ceiling, make sure you have your TV in a spot where you can't see the lights reflecting. And try avoid using lamps, because they can cause a lot of glare. 
ceiling lights and down lights work better. The fifth part is temperature. This means both temperature of yourself and your house. This may start to sound like a tip for sport or exercise, but in today's era, gaming closely refers to sport, especially because of how some people play these days. I'll explain why this is important. When you're cold, it's harder to move your hands and fingers, making your response time slower. Being cold in general is a distraction, and when playing a game like Modern Warfare, you want as little distractions as possible. The first thing is to make sure you're not in a cold house. Turn on the heating, or use a mobile heater to keep your body warm because you'll be sitting still while playing. This can also mean either you've sat or lied down for a long time and your body is still. So a good thing to do before you play is to either do some jumping jacks or go for a small walk. Now, I know that sounds like exercise, and this is about playing Modern Warfare, but by being warmed up, you feel better and you'll be able to think better, which helps you make good decisions when playing. The sixth part is to stay hydrated. This can sound like a no-brainer, but then again, a lot of people don't drink enough water, and this is important for gaming. Because when you're playing Modern Warfare, you use a lot of concentration and thinking, which drains your brain and makes you dehydrated. When you're dehydrated, it makes it hard to concentrate and play the game. It's also important because if you play the game hard, you may end up sweating, which in turn you will need water to refill and hydrate. There's never a moment I go while playing Modern Warfare without a bottle of water next to me. It's a good and healthy habit to get into, especially if you're a culprit of not staying hydrated while gaming. So be good guys and keep some water handy. Finally, the seventh part is the most important and that's don't play when tired. Have you ever tried driving, working on a school project or going to your job while tired? If you have, then you might understand the feeling of struggling to concentrate, forgetting simple things or being irritated at the smallest things. There's a little thing called a cutoff point where once you start to feel just a little bit tired, then it's time to call it a night. Or you might be lacking sleep, which doesn't help either. Because as I've repeated through this video, Playing Modern Warfare requires a lot of concentration and awareness. And the more tired you are, the harder it becomes to concentrate and therefore it makes it more difficult to play the game. So a simple way to say it, best thing while getting set up is to make sure you've had enough sleep and have become refreshed to have some fun. Because that's what it's all about in the end. This series is aimed to help you play Modern Warfare so you can have fun while doing so. Okay, that's the end of my first beginner's guide video on getting set up. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a comment below to let me know what you liked about this video. Also, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and turn on that notification bell to keep up to date with this series. I upload each video every Saturday, so stay tuned for my Modern Warfare Beginners Guide. Thanks for watching guys, I'm CJ Gamer, and I'll see you in the next one.